Look, everyone always talks about Galaxy AI, Moto AI, Apple intelligence, although not in a very good way. But there's a new AI in town that deserves more hype. So this is the new OnePlus 13 s powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite. And this recently launched a 55K, 50K with the bank discount. And some are loving the fact that this is the only compact flagship at 50K, while some have a few doubts. But there's actually two things in this phone that are super underrated. Number one is the performance, which is surprisingly solid for a compact phone. And number two, the OnePlus AI, which has some inspiration, yes, but it's actually packed with some useful features. This is Rupesh, you're watching Silicon. Subscribe right now, hit that button, and let's get into detail. Look, first up, this is right now the most affordable phone with the flagship Snapdragon 8 Elite processor. So you get the new powerful Orion cores, the Adreno GPU, the hexagon NPU that powers a lot of the OnePlus AI features. You get 12GB LPDDR5X RAM and 256 gb UFS 4.0 storage. This also has the G1 Wi-Fi chip, which is the first independently integrated Wi-Fi chip, and this is a supposed to be super stable in places like metro, elevators, everywhere. Now, what's impressive is that unlike a lot of compact phones, this scores really well in benchmarks. I mean, Android scores are pretty solid. As you can see, the stability in 3D Mark is 71%, which is awesome for an 8 elite compact phone because a lot of phones just crash in this test. But more than benchmarks, this runs like a flagship phone. Data is smooth, animations look awesome, multitasking is great, but it's the gaming performance that's great. BGM runs without any hiccups, without any heating. I mean, we tested the game for an hour, and yeah, even after this long gaming session, the temperatures were pretty normal, and yeah, it's still peak Delhi summer, so pretty solid. We even tested games like COD Mobile, which runs flawlessly. Even something like Genshin Impact is great at the highest settings. But like I said at the start, another underrated factor in the 13S is the new OnePlus AI. So this is the new Plus key and the new AI Plus Mindspace feature here is actually very good. Let me show you. Say you see a good recipe while browsing Chrome, you can use the Plus key and analyze things using AI Plus Mind and save everything in the Mindspace, be it the link, the ingredients, the instructions, everything. Another great use case is say you receive an invitation to an event or party, just hit the plus key and all the details get saved using AI plus mine. And it'll also suggest adding the event to your calendar so you also get reminded. I mean, there's actually so many use cases. You can save gadgets you see on Instagram, save your tickets, your grocery lists, everything. Yeah, I don't need to take a screenshot for every single reminder, every single thing. It's kind of becoming like habit. OnePlus AI also includes AI search, which is available with a swipe in the home screen. And this is not your usual search. This is search on steroids. See, so it scans and knows what's in your mind space. It even knows your on-device files, notes, photos, apps, calendars, everything. And like how you can use natural conversation to use it. I can ask, when is my flight or what's the baggage limit? And it shows me my flight booking. I can ask, what should I bring to my trip to Bali? And it fetches the trip essentials list I made in notes. If I recorded a call or meeting, I can simply ask what was yesterday's call about and it shows me my call recording and summary. I also like how you can suggest some phone features. For example, I can ask I can't sleep and the AI search suggests I comfort settings very handy. Apart from this, there's also AI voice cry, which lets you record in-app audio in any app, literally any app, be it a YouTube video or a Google Meet, and it can transcribe these recordings and save it in notes. It can even generate an AI summary for the same. The AI call assistant is also pretty handy, especially with in-call live translation. And I like how it brings a call summary after recording. In fact, there's a ton of other AI features in OnePlus AI. For example, in notes, there's AI summary, there's AI writing, and there's more. Even the gallery has some actually useful AI features like AI arm blur for your bloody, you know, older photos. AI reflection and laser is also great. And these features work very well, are very snappy, all thanks to the 8 Elite Qualcomm Hexagon NP. And then there's the fact that you also get Gemini, you also get Circle to Search. Yeah, these AI features are actually useful and more importantly, they work great. But what's also great is that the battery life here is awesome. Yeah, the 5850mAh battery is not silicon carbon, but it's still the biggest battery on a compact phone in India right now. And it's been almost a month since I've been using this, and the battery life has actually gotten better. I'm still getting 8 hours of screen on time on everyday usage, 7 hours even when I'm gaming. So maybe it's the optimization, maybe it's the 8 Elite efficiency, but yeah, it's good. The battery charge is pretty fast, so yeah, no wireless charging here, but you get the 80 watt SuperWook charge in the box, and it takes the phone from 10 to 100% in about 55 minutes. Plus, it supports PD charging just like the 13 and 13R. The software is also great. Oxygen OS 15 here is smooth AF, it's clean, and this has got a promise of four OS updates and six years of security patches, which is 
great. Now, obviously, the big highlight of the 13s is the design, which yes, resembles the iPhone, but credit where it's due, it's been a month, it still feels super premium, great in the hands, and even the display is as good as it gets. I mean, you already know the specs, and yeah, this display looks fantastic, be it in data to use or even while watching content. You also get dual cameras on the back, yeah, no ultra wide here, and for the telephoto, OnePlus went for a 2x lens, and the truth is, this is more of a performance oriented phone, and these aren't the best cameras in the segment, but they do a good job. And the primary cameras take good photos, be it in good light or low light. The telephoto is also pretty good in good light and even in portrait mode. But yes, in low light, it's a bit decent-ish. The selfie camera is actually good. The 32 megapixel autofocus sensor captures good details and exposure. And while the skin tones can be a bit of hit and miss, it's mostly solid. I also like that the rear camera support 4K 60fps, Dolby Vision recording, and the front supports 4K 30fps, and the videos look pretty good. Stability is good, no weird focus hunting, a bit boosted colors. Overall, the 8 Elite's AI ISP is doing a good job. Look, to sum things up, the OnePlus 13S is a good phone for anyone looking for power-packed performance and AI in a compact flagship design. Look, yes, I know, it has a few features missing, but the Snapdragon 8 Elite at this price is awesome, and I like that it's well optimized here. I like how it powers a lot of the useful AI features, which I guess kind of underrated. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think of the OnePlus 13S, the OnePlus AI. Comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.